everyone, and welcome to our summer reading event with our special guest, Pierce Freelon. My name is Allison, and I will be your host today. This year's summer reading program has been both in person and online, and we've had a lot of fun bringing you a variety of great activities and events just like this one. There's still time to join in on the fun. You'll just need to do a few things. First, sign up for your library card at ocls.info slash get your card. Second, join Beanstack by creating an account at ocls.beanstack.org. And third, register to attend our events at ocls.info slash SRP. This summer, we challenged you to read at least 20 minutes every day and keep track of your minutes by logging them in Beanstack or by using the paper reading tracker. You can still pick up a tracker at any of our branch locations. If you complete the 600 minute reading challenge in Beanstack by July 23rd, you'll automatically be entered into the grand prize drawing. If you are tracking your reading on a paper tracker, make sure you turn in your completed tracker at any of our branch locations by 6 p.m. this Saturday, July 23rd. You need to have your own library card in good standing to be eligible to win a grand prize. For more information about our summer reading program, and our in-person end of summer celebrations featuring live entertainment and grand prize giveaways at five of our locations, visit our website at ocls.info SRP. Now it's time to hear some joyful music blends of hip hop, electronic jazz, and soul, carefully crafted for today's modern families. Let's give a warm OCLS welcome to Pierce Freelon. Hey, Pierce. Hey. How are you so doing? I'm excited to hear your music today. We're doing great. Are you ready to get started? Oh, I'm so ready. We are so excited. Thank you for having oh, us. Us too. Okay. Take it. All away. right. Well, we just want to give a big uh, shout out of gratitude and thanks to OCLS. Thank you so much for having us. We are streaming right now live from North Carolina. It's thunderstorming outside, but we are still gonna have a little thunderstorm of our own right here for the library crew. And we're gonna open up with a song and I wanna do some, I wanna make this interactive. It'll be a sing-along. So for all the kids at home, for everyone at the library or folks around the world who may be streaming, um, I want you to know that uh, my body is my body and your body is your body. I think that's a very important message, not just for kids, but for grownups all over the uh, country. Um, so when I say my body is my body, I want you to say it right back. Let's try it out. Fellas, will you help me out? Yeah. My body is my body. My body is my body. Well, how about that? <laughs> all right, check it out. It goes like this. Snap your fingers if you want. My body is my body is my body. My body is my body is mine. My body is my body is it's not yours. It's mine. Come on, my body is my body. Your turn. My body is my body. Your turn. Goes na na, it's my body. Na na, it's my body. Na na, it's my body, all mine. Check it out, hey, it's my body and my choice. I got a brain and a mouth, so I'ma use my voice. Be bold, speak up, don't be afraid. No one should ever make you feel hurt or ashamed. You feel good, I say so, but when I don't. I could say no, cause my body is my body is my body, my body is my body is mine, my body is, it's not yours, it's mine, your turn, my body is my body, 
Your turn. Okay, my body is my body. Let me hear y'all. Na na, it's my body. Na na, it's my body. Na na, it's my body. Oh my. Hey, it's your body and your rules. You want a hug? Just ask and see if it's cool and be bold. Speak up, don't be afraid. No one should ever make you feel hurt or ashamed. You feel good, I say so. But when I don't, I can say no. Cause my body is my body is my body. My body is my body is mine. Woo. My body is not yours, it's mine, oh yeah. My body is my body, your turn. All right, my body is my body, let me hear y'all. Okay, na na, it's my body, na na, it's my body, na na, it's my body, oh mine. Now check it out, we're gonna spell it out for y'all. C-O-N-S-E-N-T. If you want to know, just ask me, please. C-O-N-S-E-N-T. If you want to know, just ask me, please. That spells C-O-N-S-E-N-T. That spells consent. Yes, consent. I said C-O-S-E-N-T. That spells consent. Yo, yo. Listen here, you don't want to touch, you don't need to fear, this is your body, no one else tells you how to feel, here's the deal, you can give consent and you can repeal, this is real, if you need a shield, tell them how you feel, I got body autonomy, everybody autonomy, don't want you to talk to me about my bodily qualities, so body dishonor me, I got sovereignty over my body, nobody's property, I own the monopoly, cause my body is my body and your body is your body so my body is my body and your body is your body na na it's my body na na it's my body na na it's my body oh my yes thank you Give me a little handshake if you're feeling the music. Let me see those palms. Thank you, uh, Lance, Tyler. Say hi, guys. Hey. Those are the fellas uh, who are going to be rocking with us today. So check it out. Uh, I want to give a special uh, shout out to the president of the United States, uh, Joe Biden. I heard on the news today that he got COVID-19 today, and he's almost 80 years old. So... Uh, prayers and love to the Biden family, to the president. Uh, we hope you recover quickly, but check it out. Joe Biden, our president, President Biden is, uh, he's hes doing pretty good. He said he's got a little sniffle. He feels a little fatigued, but pretty much he feels good. And the reason he feels good is because he got vaccinated and boosted. He got double boosted. He got all the protection that his body needed uh, to protect him from COVID-19. So kids and parents, we're not out of the woods yet. Make sure you take care of yourselves. And uh, one of the ways that that we've been sharing our story uh, with kids with as it relates to COVID-19 is through a game we used to play called Cootie Shot. It goes like this. Now you got to do it with me. Go circle, circle, dot, dot. Now I got my Cootie Shot. <laughs> All right, let's try it again. Circle, circle, dot, dot. Now I got my cootie shot. All right, so that's the cootie shot dance. And we're about to play you a really fun video featuring uh, some wonderful puppeteers called Paper Hand Puppets. And this is the cootie shot video. Take it away. I am scared of needles. Ouch. But there's one thing that I know What's that? I don't want a fever We can't keep it hot if we catch the cold Circle, circle, circle dot, 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 now I got my cootie shot Circle, circle, dot, dot, yeah. now I got my cootie shot Got my cootie 
you got your cootie shot if you're cootie shot eligible circle circle dot dot now i got my cootie shot and check it out my friends are now seated they were standing before they got short <laughs> how did you guys get so short we just wanted to have this want to be more on, on your level here yeah, okay cool so now the guys are short welcome to the party fellas uh and our next song that we want to play for you is called braid my hair now i am a father of a wonderful daughter named Stella. And one of the things I love to do is to braid her hair. It is a very special daddy-daughter moment that we like to share. And this song is dedicated to all the dads and little girls out there and the dads who do their son's hair too. Some people out here braiding cornrows or twisting locks. So check it out. Daddy, will you braid my hair? Daddy, will you braid my hair? Oh, daddy, 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 will you braid my, will you braid my hair? I don't want to go out there till you put some shea butter on your fist, put a scrunchie on your wrist. Let me see you do that twist. French braids are cool with me. And cornrows are cool with me. And even locks are cool with me. And box braids are cool with me. I said, Daddy, will you braid my hair? Daddy, will you braid my hair? Oh, Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. Daddy, will you braid my, let me comb your knots out. Uh, I'll make sure those parts pop. When we rinse, I'll make sure the water's hot. Your head is in the sink like the dishes. We need to get this hair clean before we twist it. You're a queen, but you know you gotta listen to me. Massage that scalp good with them suds at. I'm cold, get that towel over here. I'm ready for them braids to appear. Take a piece to the left, middle and the right. Weave them together and you pull it so tight. That's it. Let me see you do that twist. Daddy, will you braid my hair? I don't want to go out there till you put some shea butter on your fist. 
put a scrunchie on your wrist. Let me see you do that twist. French braids are cool with me at cornrows. Are cool with me in box braids. Are cool with me in dreadlocks. Are cool with me. No, yo, we told you like, Daddy, will you braid my hair? Daddy, will you braid my hair? Oh, Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. Daddy, will you braid my daddy? Daddy, oh daddy. Daddy, will you braid my daddy? Daddy, daddy. Daddy, will you braid my hair? So that was the first time I've ever done the song and tried to braid at the same time. <laughs> And what I learned was that a camera actually shows you everything in reverse. So it's very hard to braid your hair and sing a song backwards at the same time. But we tried it. I mean, you yeah. see if they, it looks if you want to try it at home, you can. You can try it, it at like home. a nice little braid. Thank what what your music's on, on all the streaming platforms, right? And you have an album out. That's true. That's true. You can check out the album Black to the Future on Spotify, on Apple Music. That song "Braid My Hair" is on my is on my most recent album, and these guys they're producers. That means they make beats, really cool beats. Very cool. Yeah, so they produced a song called "Attitude of Gratitude" on my album, and we're working on a new project together, which is so exciting. But really quick, I want to show you something. Check this out. This is a book called "Daddy Daughter Day" that I wrote about me and my daughter. And let me show you a cool page from the book. Um, it's about a father and daughter spending the day together. And check this one out. This is like reverse braid my hair. My daughter Stella is actually doing my hair and she put a little bow in my head. And these are all the fun things we do on a daddy daughter day together. And the next song, which we're about to show you a video for is called Daddy Daughter Day. It's about all the fun things that we do we play basketball. In the video, we play tennis. We get cotton candy. We have a lot of fun. So please enjoy the music video for Daddy Daughter Day and pick up the book. Check it out. Stella, you're going to play. Hope you're ready for a Daddy Daughter Day. Yeah, daddy daughter day, girl, what up? what up? Right now, we can go anywhere you wanna. Yeah. Roller skating ring to the movies, chilling at the house. Maybe later on, we can go get a banana flow. Mm. Yeah, cause that's really tasty. We can be lazy, stop and smell the daisies. Do what you want, me and you in the car. Go play in the arcade or shop at the mall. Hope you are ready for a wonderful day. Sunny outside, hope you are ready to play. When your mama asks you how your day went, you gon' tell her daddy be your favorite. Sun is going down now, get into your jammies. Yeah. Bedtime concert, performing at your Grammys. Close your eyes and now it's sleepy time. Tomorrow we go <laughs> press rewind. Daddy done a day, daddy 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 daddy done a day. It's a daddy daughter day, and the sun is so much brighter when it's smiling on your face. Homies call to hit the bar, tell them try another day. Rather be right where you are, you can pick your favorite place. We can hit the museum, life is science, you see them, animals and zoos even recognize the beauty. And your smile as it radiates, you hide and we play and chase. Even if we doing nothing, it's time we can never waste. Tell mommy we go and play, just me and you on a date. Hope nobody told mommy for dinner we order cake. With ice cream and chocolate, Lion King, you watched it at 
least a hundred times just so you can hear him say Hakuna Matata, this what we do with our daughters and a salute to the fathers doing it all to provide a model of who you should follow promise to guide you on where to go it's a daddy daughter day bruh fatherhood is dope Yeah. Yeah. That was Daddy Daughter Day. We hope you had fun with that one. Now we're going to do something pretty cool. We're going to teach you how to count. All right. Anybody out there know how to count? Anybody out there? Can you count? Okay. Check it out. But can you count in English? Can anyone count in Spanish? Can anybody count in Chinese? Or French? Okay, okay. I see some of y'all can count in other languages. Well, check it out. We'll teach you how to count in Swahili, which is a really cool language. So, number one, moja. When I say moja. the when I say the word, you repeat it after me. Can you repeat it, guys? Yeah. Okay. Moja. Moja. Mbili. 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 Tatu. Tatu. Nne. Nne. Tano. Tano. Tisa. Tisa. Kumi. Kumi. Hold on. Tisa kumi is nine ten. Tisa kumi. <laughs> I forgot six. Moja mbili. Tatu nne tano. Sita saba. Nane. Tisa. Kumi. Okay? Alright, it'll be easier to remember when I sing it. Check it out. It goes like this. Moja Billy Tatu Netano Sita Sabanane Tisa Kumi Moja Billy Tatu Netano O Sita Sabanane Tisa Kumi goes moja mbili tatu nne tano sita saba nane tisa kumi goes moja mbili tatu nne tano ho sita saba nane tisa kumi hey good job now you know how to count to ten in Kiswahili. Moja mbili tatu ne tano sita saba nane tisa and kumi. Good job, good job. It's fun learning new languages, isn't it? Well, that was my uh, numbers lesson for today, but I want to give a special shout out to someone who taught me how to read. We are doing this performance for a library, and there's a really cool guy named LeVar Burton who used to host a television show on PBS called Reading Rainbow. So raise your hand if you like to read. Anybody like to read? Me too. Me too. I love to read. And we are going to honor LeVar Burton with this music video. And you're going to see LeVar Burton from Star Trek, from Reading Rainbow, and from Roots. I hope you enjoy it. Hit that LeVar Burton music video, please. I can teach you how to fly like an angel Butterflies in the sky reading rainbow <laughs> Close your eyes, take flight like LeVar Traveling space-time with LeVar Open up a book like a flower Ride it like a boat, you can travel <laughs> You are your ancestors' wildest dream like LeVar Impossible is not a thing, ask LeVar 
Did you know your mind is a muscle? Your body is a shrine and a temple. You are super special. You could learn a skill or a hustle. Earn a dollar bill or a fossil. Archaeological. Seek knowledge and understanding. Read everything in the canon. Learn to love and to dream is important. Sincerely, your uncle, Bob Burton. You taught us how to read hymns, homonyms. Taught us how to fight slavery, Romulans. I can teach you how to rise like your ancestors. Send Kofa look back to find the answers. Yeah, you are African inside like Lavar. Look at how we've thrived, ask Lavar. On a quest for love in a bad spot. Roots kept us grounded in black thought. <laughs> Now Kunta can taste free like Lavar. He was crowned King Kunta by Kendrick Lamar. He had a descendant named Uhura. Space is the place where she grew up. She could really listen. Her nephew had amazing grace and wisdom. Blind, but he could see it's not a prison. Cybernetic vision. And if you look back with precision, you could see the depth from which we've risen. Blackness is resilient. You are your ancestors' wildest dream, like Lavar. Impossible is not a thing, ask Lavar. You taught us how to read hymns, homonyms. Taught us how to fight slavery, Romulans. Close your eyes, take flight like Lavar. Traveling space time with Lavar. Thank you, thank you, thank you, LeVar Burton, for everything that you've taught me. And check it out, y'all. We've had so much fun today, but we are almost done. We only have one song left, and then it's time for Q&A. And this song is about something I'm very familiar with. It's about bedtime. Mm, when it's time for bed to squeeze that pillow. Sometimes you kids out there have some excuses that you like to tell your parents. Maybe you'll recognize one of these. Check it out. I don't want to go to bed until you tell me a bedtime story. Can you tell me my favorite story? Oh yeah, I don't want to turn off the lights until you give me a glass of water. Lord have mercy. Mm. I'm so thirsty, oh yeah, I don't want to close my eyes, because there's monsters in the closet, they're so hairy, and so scary, oh yeah, I don't want to go to bed without you in my arms, so just tuck me in and promise you won't leave me in the dark, now tuck me in, tuck me in. Tuck me in, tuck me in. Hey, I don't want to feel alone, so please leave the door cracked open. Can you leave it cracked a little? Oh yeah, I gotta use the bathroom. Ooh, you don't want me to pee in the bed, do you? Before I sleepy, uh, I need to pee pee. Oh yeah, can you quiet down a little please? Shh, I can't sleep if I still hear you. Y'all are talking, uh, and I'm eavesdropping. Oh yeah, I don't wanna go to bed without you in my arms. So just tuck me in and promise you won't leave me in the dark. Now tuck me in, tuck me in. Tuck me in, woo, tuck me in, hey, tuck me in, hey, tuck me in, tuck me in, ah, 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 tuck me in, bring it real low, guys. I said, I don't want to go to bed without you in my arms. So just tuck me in, then promise you won't leave me in the dark. Oh, wait a minute. We still have a we still have a Q and A to do. I gotta wake up. Oh, okay. Good morning. We're back. All right. 
Uh, well, thank you so much again for having us. Thank you to the summer reading program. Thank you to the library. We appreciate you very much. And now we will open things up for some Q and some A. Hi, Pierce. What a great show. Thank you so much for sharing your music with us. That was wonderful. Thank Friends, you. now's your chance. Now's your chance to ask Pierce a question. Just type your question in the chat and uh, we will see what Pierce has to say. So Pierce, uh, what musicians have inspired you? Wow, that's a really great question. Uh, we were just talking about um, musicians that inspired us. Um, you know that song, Happy by Pharrell? I'm so happy. Yeah. Yes. yeah, Pharrell is a really big inspiration. I love that he is not just a singer, but he also produces. He makes beats like these guys, but he's also an artist. Uh, we were also talking, what soundtrack were we talking about earlier today? Mm -hmm. Lion King? The Lion King soundtrack with Beyonce, Beyonce did. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So Lance is, is the father of four daughters. Count them. One, two, three, oh, four. Wow. <laughs> and he said before school uh, this week, they've been listening to the Lion King soundtrack, which- The new uh, one, with the, Beyonce. Yeah, with Beyonce, the Beyonce. Not the Elton John I mean, version. The old one's good. Which was with also Beyonce, great. You know, might yeah. get the old one next week. That doesn't hurt to have Beyonce involved. So that those are some artists that we really like. Great, wonderful. Um, and Eli wants to know, what is your favorite song to perform? Wow, uh, guys, you're gonna have to answer for yourselves. I'm gonna be biased and attitude of gratitude. Attitude of gratitude. Love. Oh, but we didn't do that one today. Yeah. There's a cool song called Attitude of Gratitude on my album, Black to the Future. You should check it out. Um, it's so much fun to perform, but we only had 30 minutes, so we didn't have time for it today. So you can check that out. I really like performing Tuck Me In um, because it's so real to my experience as a dad putting my kids to bed. They make all types of excuses as to why they can't go to bed. So that's a really fun one. Yeah. I, I yeah. like to rough. Toothbrush. Toothbrush. You know, it's about brushing your teeth, but it really yeah. makes me want to do it. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, check out, makes check you want to go out and brush your teeth, huh? You mm -hmm. know, like, and don't forget the plots. Day, don't forget the plots, yeah. So here's another question. How has being a parent, a parent changed your music? Ooh. That's a great question. So uh, I'm a father of two children. Uh, my daughter, Stella, who you see here on the cover of my book, Daddy Daughter Day. And I hear this book is available in your library. Is that true? Yes, it is. It is our, in our collection. Uh, so friends can go online and, and order it. Nice. Nice. So, um, you know, being a dad is has really been very influential and uh, mostly because I want to make music that my kids enjoy and that uh, the parents also enjoy. Um, Cause sometimes, you know, you have the experience as a parent, your kids like to listen to things over and over and over and over again. And so as a parent, as you're driving your kids to school and they play baby shark for the hundredth time, uh, you know, you want to make sure that, uh, that the music that I'm creating music that, uh, is is good to listen to over and over again. Um, and also, I think that my kids give me song ideas all the time. Um, they are very creative, and sometimes they'll say things that feel very musical to me. So I will take out my phone and record a voice memo, and I will think to myself, oh, I should make a song about this thing that my kids talked about. So it's very, very big part of my creative process being a dad. Yeah, that's wonderful. Okay, um, so when did you start making music? That's a good question. Let's round robin this one. You wanna go first, Tyler? Speak up nice and loud. So I started making music when I was in sixth grade and I joined band and I started playing flute and then I got into my cousin's a uh, boyfriend at the time was playing guitar on the campfire and I saw that. I was like, I want to do that. And, you know, my parents were, um, I was really lucky that my, my parents got me a guitar. And as you see, you know, I'm playing guitar. I still play flute a little bit, but I mostly 
guitar is my main instrument, my primary instrument. So that was sixth grade for me. I think I was 12 when I started playing music. Nice. How about you? I was, I was probably maybe like five years old, just like the casual piano lessons at the local, back in the day it was Pearson Music. Mm -hmm. That was off 15501. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you remember that place. Oh yeah. And um, took piano lessons there and then saw this guy playing bass super emphatically at my church and I thought it was pretend. Like I was like, there's no way he's that good. <laughs> And kind of find out he was. So that was wow. Just kind of I want to draw attention to something. This is Lance. He's the father of four. He said he was playing bass super emphatically. Oh, That's a cool yeah. word, emphatic. That means he was like, he was really plucking them strings. <laughs> so that's a cool word, emphatic. Um, so I started doing music probably when I was around four or five years old, just making up songs and singing them and banging on uh, the counter at my parents' house. Um, mm -hmm. I had a very musical childhood. My mom is a singer. And so uh, watching her sing inspired me to sing. Okay. Great, wonderful. <laughs> okay, uh, so we do have another question. And what's the best advice for a new artist? Ooh, advice for a new artist, hmm. I would have to say, ooh, uh, listen. That's my advice. Listen. Mm. To be a good artist uh, and a new artist, I think you should spend a lot of time listening to different genres of music. Uh, a genre is like a style. So there's like hip hop, there's jazz, there's classical music, there's funk. You know, there's all different types of music. There's the blues. And the more that you listen to, the more uh, that influences your music. And uh, it's nice. It's almost like, you know, if you want to be a chef, you know, it's nice to try out different kinds of foods so you know what you like. And who knows, maybe you'll take a spice from this culture and add it with a a, a plant from that culture or a food, you know, bread from this culture and make something completely new and original because it's, uh, because you have a, a, a lot of influences. So I think the same thing is true of music and of life is to listen, to taste, to hear, to smell, um, and experience life. And I think that will uh, make you a better musician. They say the same thing for writers, that writers need to do a lot of reading. It's the same thing, mm -hmm. reading, and that helps you be a better writer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. All right. And what genre would you is your music would you consider? Wow. Uh, well, I think our genre, a big part of our genre is children's music and family music. Um, you'll hear a lot of influences. Just like I told you, um, it's important for young artists to listen a lot. I like listening to all types of music. And so you'll hear a lot of jazz, a lot of soul, a lot of kind of progressive R&B and hip hop influences in our music. But the one thing that ties all of uh, our music together is the focus on children and families. Uh, the subject matter, the songs, the lyrics are all um, family music. So that, that would be the genre. Nice. Um, okay, so I think we have time for one more question. Uh, do you ever teach music? Yeah, I do teach music. Um, I run a, a community space in Durham called Black Space. And there we have a beat making lab where we teach kids how to make beats. And uh, one of the first things I like to teach kids is that before we go into like a computer and start programming drums, I like to just hear what comes out of their mouth or hear what they can bang onto a table. So um, we'll try it. Do you want to try it out with us, Allison? Sure, I'd be happy to. Okay, let's try it out. Okay, so this is uh, this is something called beatboxing. Let me hear you uh, just say, yeah, it's almost like making blowing a kiss outward. Okay, now okay. let me hear you like kind of suck your teeth in like, Okay, now we're going to okay. alternate. Let's try. Okay. 
Uh -oh. That was great. <laughs> Everybody give Allison a big round of applause. That was awesome. So, so what you were just doing, Allison, mm -hmm. right there is called beatboxing. And beatboxing can take a lot of different forms. Like, let me show you here. Here's my book, Daddy Daughter Day. You know, you could beatbox with your fist and your knuckle. Or... And uh, we're all capable of making our oh, own beats with our own bodies and our own environments. Oh, yeah, you better slap yeah, them me, thighs. That's why I'm not wearing long pants so I can, you know, play the knee. You know? Yeah, the knee is an instrument. The mouth is an instrument. The hands are an instrument. The, the cheek is an instrument. Yeah. So um, I like to start there. And once we make our own beats with our bodies, then we use a, a program to make an electronic version of the beat we just made in the real world. Um, so that's kind of like step one in beat making. So thank you for participating, mm -hmm. Allison. And I, I hope oh, the audience great. at home got to as well. Yeah, that's wonderful. That's a lot of fun. Well, Pierce, thank you so much for your performance today. And thank your producers behind you. Uh, it was you. amazing. And again. we all had this a wonderful is... time. Thank you. I just, can I introduce them again real quick? Of course. Yes. Go okay. ahead. Okay. This is Lance Scott on bass. Everybody say, what up, Lance? What up, Lance? What up, Lance? <laughs> and this is Tyler Lee on guitar. What up, Tyler? What's up, Tyler? What up, Tyler? Yeah. All right. And my name is Pierce Freelon. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you, Pierce. Friends, you can learn more about Pierce from his website at piercefreelon.com. And also you can check out his book here at our collection as, as you visit ocls.info. We have another fun live event planned next Thursday, starting at 4 p.m. with Noodle Loaf. The Noodle Loaf Show is an interactive play-based music party that fosters music fundamentals. You won't want to miss it. You can find information about all of our upcoming events at ocls.info slash events. Don't forget to complete your reading in Beanstack by this Saturday, July 23rd. I'm rooting for you and your friends to win some awesome prizes. We'd love to have your feedback about today's virtual event. Please complete our survey in English or Spanish at your convenience at ocls.info slash survey. And finally, a big thank you to Window World of Central Florida for sponsoring our summer reading program. And thank you for joining us today. Stick around for a sneak peek of the cool prizes you can win. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to be the first to find out when we have new fun and informative videos for you. Orange County Library System is your place to learn, grow, connect.